Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cruz. If you came across this channel, thank you. Thank you so much for giving me the view that I so desperately want. Thank you. That I appreciate that so much. Also, this doesn't even work. I tried to plug it into my camera, but for some reason it doesn't work. Also, please ignore the background. Um, kind of embarrassing, but um, I'm a K-pop stan. <laughs> Obviously, you couldn't tell, but yeah, K-popping, you know. But yeah. Um. Anyways, to make this video less boring, today's video is gonna be about an update on my life, and I guess some like life advice. You you understand? Like, if you watch the whole video, you probably be like, oh shit, like. Okay, I get it. You know, like it makes sense. But yeah, even though like my life is fucking boring and like literally nobody cares, um, I have literally no video ideas, and I kind of just want to talk about myself and like everything that's been going on in my life. Not that it's bad, you know, like uh, nothing crazy. But you know, like I want to talk about myself, so you know, let's get right into the video. Okay, so to sum it all out. I got into a car accident, but, 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 it wasn't big, okay? Like, it wasn't extravag, extravag, extrava, it wasn't a big deal. It was honestly very minor. It was at a parking lot. Who crashes in a parking lot? Literally, who crashes in a parking lot? me i do this dumbass bitch but um yeah so i got an accident it's gonna be a month on may 3rd which is my birthday but we'll get there in a second um yeah and my car got extremely totaled and the other driver's car did not get totaled at all she literally only had uh, I'm sorry I'm so sorry but um <laughs> yeah um yeah the other drivers um her car no damages at all literally one small dent in the corner like that's it and my car was completely out the transmission stopped working it was just a huge sad big sobbing story for me you know so yeah and the thing is that um it was my fault <laughs> surprise what a surprise it was a dumb bitch's fault so yeah who's the dumb bitch me <laughs> i'm the dumb bitch not her um so let me explain what exactly happened um so i was driving it was at a target parking lot well it wasn't a target parking lot target just happens to be in that gateway center it's like a little mini mall and i was on my way to go to ulta which is on the other side of the parking lot so my dumbass went through a very small area of the parking lot where it's like really tight and like you have to be very careful but i was in a rush i was rushing because my manager had called me in that day she was like hey chris can you like come in you know like work from six to ten and i was like fuck yeah like for sure you know like i'll do the extra four hours for like extra money and so i was trying to rush and like i was trying to do errands with my best friend and i was trying to go to ulta with my mom like really quick before i pick up my friend and on my way there i crashed i was i don't want to say i was speeding because honestly i wasn't i was going perhaps 15 you know and um my brakes um uh, my brakes were not working so i i don't have a stop sign neither, neither does she like i'm going straight and i'm trying to make a left so um i go here once i stop i look to my left and i see a car speeding like coming straight my way and i'm like bro we're fucking crashing 
were fucking crashing and we did crash she hit me even though it was my fault she hit me okay she hit me but it was still my fault because technically i didn't yield correctly so yeah yeah i'll probably show some pictures up here of like my car and how bad it was you guys are probably like oh my gosh bitch it's not even that bad like only the front end bumper is like bad N it, the picture doesn't do it justice okay it was really bad in real life like it was horrible transmission was out and then like here's her car literally no damages no damages at all like one small small minor but yeah um that happened i was carless i was freaking carless and like it's a privilege to have a car and i just didn't realize the privilege that i had to literally drive drive my ass to work a lot of people cannot do that they have to take public transportation or they have to uber everywhere and like you know i never i wasn't grateful enough for my privilege that i had so that happened and i was really really sad and i don't even know why i went to work the next two hours i went to work after the accident like why i'll get into a second into that like it's all gonna make sense at the end of the video i went to work and i only worked um three hours three hours and um i was shaking i was so stressed out i wanted to cry i was sad i was anxious i was worried because i didn't know what's next what's gonna happen next i i hate not knowing what's gonna happen next like it really stresses me out and it makes me like super anxious i don't know if it's just me i'm pretty sure it's not just me you know but like i just i get really anxious and like when i feel something i feel it twice twice as harder as anybody else like if i'm feeling sad i feel sad like i i have very strong emotions whatever i feel like it's deep it's so deep that is so fucking corny but yeah i i feel my emotions they're very very strong and it like it stresses me out and it like literally drains me but um for the next three weeks I had to use public transportation uber and my dad would take me sometimes and when he could because he also had to work night shifts and like i worked night shifts a lot so he couldn't take me all the time like maybe just to get there but like to pick me up from work not all the time after that um i got a new car yay hooray let's pray for no more accidents i do have a little bit of ptsd i still get a little scared driving on parking lots specifically in parking lots because like it's so easy to fuck up honestly it's so easy to fuck up on parking lots like i when when a new driver like when somebody's beginning how to drive for the first time they're probably thinking like bro like the freeway is probably the hardest thing but honestly it's not the freeway in my opinion is the easiest thing ever you know just go straight really fast check your mirrors your blind spot and if you want to just switch lanes you go for it but check your blind spots obviously but um yeah for me the freeway is the easiest thing but for me the hardest thing is the parking lot because you have to be so damn careful like you just never know and i freak out a lot when i'm driving in parking lots like i try to avoid them like i hate taking my mom to the market to the market because like the parking lot there is so like tight it's literally no space at all like i am so claustrophobic i hate tiny spaces so imagine how i feel driving anyways that's a little update on my life i got into a car accident now i got a new car learned my lesson stop trying to be a dumb bitch while driving and now i have to pay it off and i can't really like do anything because i'm trying to pay it off you know all of my paycheck goes to that but sooner or later i'll i'll be done paying it off it, i'll be there I'll, I'll be there very soon okay my next topic is about um making boundaries with yourself and i'm gonna talk a little bit about my work about my job and stuff so i work at a grocery store and um the grocery store is 
ran by a lot of managers you know like every department has their own managers i work in the front end as a cashier i was originally a courtesy clerk which some of you might not know a courtesy clerk is basically a bagger slash a cart pusher that's what i applied for i was very excited to push those carts once i got to push those carts i was not excited anymore but um, you know i couldn't complain because that's what i signed up for and that was my position and you know like the money the first few weeks of applying there um i was happy i was happy with my job because my last job i was i was working at a fast food i don't want to name the fucking fast food company though because um what if they see this and they're like oh there's a bitch is talking shit but um yeah awful awful i do recommend like people working a fast food job at least once in their life because it honestly builds so much character 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 development like it builds you so much like you're strong you come you become a stronger person you develop how to deal with things properly handle like bad situations and stuff so i i do recommend it you you need you need to you need to work a fast food job at least once it's very very humbling trust me after that i wanted to work at a coffee shop like starbucks you know like who doesn't want to work at a coffee shop or a boba shop but um none of them wanted me the first person that the first company that called me was the grocery store and you know i applied as that because i didn't want to be a cashier because i was a cashier at a fast food and i freaking hated it so the first few weeks i was happy i was only a bagger and because i'm a lazy piece of shit you know like it was so easy for me just bagging people's groceries that's it just standing there for a couple hours um bagging groceries and then like going to the back and put go bags in the correct aisles right and then the manager the head manager of the front end left literally after a week that i got there so two weeks went by without the head manager and a new manager came in and she is very sweet she is so amazing she's kind she's been the most nicest person to me ever like if i wanted to ask her for a day off she is going to give it to me like she's very sweet she's not an asshole but um i think my only complaint with her is that i don't think she knows how to manage correctly no offense if you're watching this i love you i adore you but um you do know how to manage but i think you're a little unorganized but i don't think it's your fault you know it's probably corporate's fault you know but um she came in she was very sweet and right away she asked me hey do you want to be a backup cashier and i was like no <laughs> i don't and she kind of seemed disappointed and because i am such a people pleaser like literally have no boundaries like i i love pleasing people even when it's the things that i don't want to do like i'll do it even if i don't want to just to please you and that's a very bad habit of mine that i have and now that i came to realize like hey you have to you have to stop this because it's draining you and it's driving you insane so um i said no but then she asked me again like maybe two weeks later and because i felt bad saying no to her she's so sweet she's amazing i said of course i'll be a backup cashier you know i'll help around like outside and inside before her <laughs> before her um the girls the courtesy clerks that were girls we did not go outside to push cards until she came in she made us push cards and it's awful honestly like if you work as a card pusher like props to you because i cannot do it i cannot it's so much physical um maintenance if that makes what what am i saying it's so much hard work you know it's basically an exercise and like i'm a lazy hoe i cannot do that and like i'm also like only 107 pounds and like i'm 5'1 like what the fuck am i gonna do pushing these like heavy ass carts 
I, I cannot so um yeah and like i didn't mind you know like that's technically my job and i was excited to do it at first but then i was like ew like no i don't want to um but i did not tell her that because i don't like to complain and like i just i just sit there and take it in the ass and so um yeah um she then said hey do you want to be a backup backup cashier and i was like okay sure like i'll do it and so she said like hey we're gonna start training you for like three weeks for literally three weeks until i started training like a month ago a month later i mean and um training went well it was very scary and i know most of the produce codes not most of them but like the most important ones and the most popular items that people buy you know bananas apples um parsley cilantro whatever the fuck started being a backup cashier and i started going outside like i was basically doing two people's jobs and i was just taking it in the ass like i kept being fucked i kept allowing myself to be fucked fucked and over and over again because i had no boundaries like i didn't say like hey like can i at least get a raise can i um get paid as a cashier because i'm doing two people's jobs and then um I never said that. I never asked her for that. I never asked for anything. I, I do not like bothering people. I feel annoying as shit when I do that. And um, yeah, so <laughs> I hate that. I hate asking for more hours. I hate, I just hate asking because I feel like I'm too much. I feel like I'm annoying, like I'm too needy and I just, I don't know. So yeah. And then like maybe a month later of being a backup cashier and a fucking courtesy clerk and a fucking car pusher. Um, I got promoted to being a cashier. But here's the thing. They did that without asking me first. Like, hey, do you want to be a cashier? No one asked me that. Absolutely nobody. They just said like, hey, you're officially a cashier now. The thing is that they never asked me to be a cashier. Well, they did, but at first I said no. And then I accepted to being a backup cashier, which literally makes no sense at all. Like, why am I doing two people's jobs? But I was originally a courtesy clerk and then I was like, being both a courtesy clerk and a cashier and then they were like hey like you're officially a cashier now without even like asking like how i felt about that or if i even wanted to become an official cashier i've never mentioned that ever before and they just like one day decided to make me a cashier and i was like okay whatever i just like accepted it and i stayed within my cashier position but they were still kind of treating me like a backup because they kept sending me outside to push carts as well so technically i was still like a backup cashier and it was just a lot but it was also kind of like my fault as well because i was like hey like if you ever need like extra help like you know you could just tell me and call me but like i didn't think that they were gonna take it like so serious and be like hey go outside hey you know like now it's your turn like hey you're on the schedule for the carts so it was just like a lot and i kind of felt like i was taken advantage of in some ways x you know call me you know me trying to be nice because i'm such a people pleaser and like i don't know like i just i feel bad i feel guilty i feel bad for literally no reason like i did nothing bad and i was basically doing two people's jobs but the thing is that I was getting paid as a cashier now, which was like 56 cents more. And um, I don't know, but something about it kind of felt like abusive to me. But I'm pretty sure this happens at a lot of jobs. Like at my last job in the fast food, I was doing a lot of moving around. You know, like when the kitchen crew needed help, I would go help them. You know, try to cover them, try to help them out, try to do the supervisor's job. You know, like every job is like that. But this one just felt so tough it felt so tough like it was really bad because 
I was just doing a lot like I was doing a lot and like honestly I I don't get paid enough to do all of this work but for some reason if I speak up I feel so guilty and so I don't know like just like a bad employee and like I don't want to be a bad employee like I want to be a good employee like I just I want to be good I want to be the best I want to be the best in people's eyes but obviously I cannot be the best in everybody's eyes and yeah and then like something that really pissed me off was like the whole management team of the front end like I love them literally adore them all like I get along with them with all of them they're so freaking cool and they're like literally the best managers ever like i get so along with them but the way they manage things isn't like the best it's kind of stupid they well the head manager uh she was she's trying to make every bagger every courtesy clerk into a cashier and to me that's kind of stupid because now we're not gonna have any baggers or card pushers and then you're gonna depend on me to go outside and do those people's jobs instead of having me in the cashier and making those people do their actual jobs instead of being a backup cashier like it's just so stupid it's so freaking stupid to me how they literally do that and then like the whole scheduling is so dumb like hate it like fucking retail just sucks and like the management like it sucked you know like before the head manager came in like the new one it just kind of sucked like it all went downhill like as much as i love her and she's cool and so sweet like it sucked and it's probably not even your fault it's probably corporate's fault like i don't know but i don't know what's the idea that my manager has but it's just really bad but um and like i just kind of came into a realization that um you know, like, I, I, I'm doing so much, and for what? Like, literally for what? Like, I'm not getting paid enough to do this. And, like, I'm doing things that I don't want to do, but I just can't um, bring myself to say no. I just cannot say no. I say yes to everything. I'm, like, I repeat it. Like I said, uh, like I said to myself, like, I'm such a people pleaser. I cannot say no. Like, I, I just want everybody to be happy, but i'm not worrying about myself like what about me like i'm not thinking about myself like am i happy like am i happy doing this because i'm i'm not i'm not fucking happy doing this and like i just wanna this is like my advice learn how to make boundaries learn how to like have your own circle have your own line like when it's enough it's enough you've gone too far if you don't feel comfortable doing something do not don't do it if you want to say no just say no like i know maybe you have anxiety you care a lot about what people think but like honestly at the end of the day who gives a shit just say no learn how to say no and learn how to walk away and like learn not to care about what people might think of you because of your reasoning of doing that just say no and you know things will work out at the end i know that's very hard for some people to say no like it's fucking hard for me to say no but um yeah like this isn't worth it like i i need to work on self-worth because i still don't think i know my self-worth like i'm trying to learn to um realize what's my worth like not what's my worth but realize that i'm worth more you know like i'm not worth doing all of this for like minimum as bare minimum you know i cannot do this and like i don't even want to do it like i i just i don't want to be a cashier but since you guys forced me to be a cashier like now i just kind of want to be there in my little register lane you know ringing up every item just being in my own little lane without doing so much freaking work so yeah learn learn how to say no okay because one day it's going to go so far up that you can't even reverse it you cannot say no because you already agreed to it you already said yes because you already said yes there's no turning away so it's too far make boundaries with yourself whether it's your work ethic your workplace um your friends your family members 
learn how to say no, okay? Because that's like the strongest thing that you could ever say. The most important thing that you could ever say. Like literally depends on that word, no, okay? So yeah, make, yeah, like make yourself some boundaries, you know? Don't work yourself so fucking hard and stress yourself out for something so stupid and bare, like the bare minimum, like no. But yeah, that's for today's video. Um, maybe I'll see you guys another in another month <laughs> because um, I need to pay off that car, and right now I don't have money to like go out. And I kind of wanted to do vlogs. Maybe I will do a vlog. But um, yeah. Oh, I do have a video idea. I just remembered it. But um, yeah, I'll probably see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much if you watched all the way over here literally thank you so much for like listening to me rant and like saying my opinions and you know because i i really needed to say this okay so yeah thank you so much for watching my channel i hope you subscribe so i don't have to be a cart pusher anymore i'm just kidding uh, i'm literally quitting i'm i hate this job like i learned how to say no now i'm gonna quit and i'm gonna leave this job because i just can't <laughs> i hate it like I love my coworkers. The coworkers were so amazing. Love all of them. Even the managers. Even the head manager. She's so sweet. But I can't continue doing this anymore. And I wish it was different, but I can't. It's time for me to move on and move on to something different. And maybe I have a job interview tomorrow. I won't say where, where yet, but if I do get in, I will tell you guys in my next video. But um, either ways, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe because I really need that car money. 